Order the following compounds from most reactive to least reactive in an SN1 reaction. The first step in an SN1 reaction is that the leaving group leaves. For compound 1, the bromide ion is the leaving group. For compound 2, the acetate ion is the leaving group. And for compound 3, the hydroxide ion is the leaving group. Since each reaction is producing the same carbocation, the only difference in the rate of the reaction is the ability of the leaving group to become negatively charged. The bromide ion is the weakest base, followed by the acetate ion, then the hydroxide ion. How does this relate to the rate of reaction? The less stable the intermediates, the more energy it takes to form them. The rate of reaction of forming the carbocation is dependent on the concentration of the electrophile only. The rate of reaction thus equals the rate constant times the concentration of the electrophile. The rate constant will equal the fraction of molecules that have enough energy to produce the carbocation. Since the rate determining step does not involve an attack of a nucleophile on the electrophile, and only one molecule is involved, the steric and collision factors are not included in the rate constant. However, the rate constant would include these factors because the next step is a nucleophilic attack on the carbocation. As you can see from the equation, the larger the activation energy, the slower the rate of reaction. Since the bromide ion is the weakest base, or the most stable leaving group, the activation to form these intermediates will be the smallest. Thus, this reaction will occur the fastest. The hydroxide ion is the worst leaving group, and the activation energy for this reaction will be very high. Thus, compound 1 would undergo an SN reaction more readily than compound 2, and the alcohol would be the least reactive, and under normal conditions would not occur.